Highlight it, and it'll be fine. I know. I well, I'm only doing a video. All right. Well, I'm doing a stream and video. Yeah, I'm doing a stream. Oh, get hops. <laughs> the hops, dude. It's going up against Jordan. Have you used a hammerlock pistol yet? It's slow as hell. I know. Borderlands three guys. Yeah. Let's oh, start. Let's start with Brett. Sir? Let's start with Brett. What, okay. what would you like on your wish list? Uh, dude, put me last. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> I got a lot to say. Put me last, a, please. I got a relatively, I got a relatively short list because I'm pretty fond of, uh, of um, Borderlands. But let's start off with first thing. Uh, in let's talk about loot. We'll, we'll guess we'll start there. So first of all, the loot system. Love the loot system we have so far. Um, I like the different tiers, and whenever they add a DLC, they add another tier. Keep that up. That that's great. The levels, like as like far as like shit. weapons, as they got to like legendaries, were like the best. But like the extra tiers that they added, I personally weren't gonna say are any real. They're not really that better. Like they're good, but they're not really better than legendaries. They're just kind of a little extra thing, a little bit more unique that you can go for. Um, also, as far as like legendary weapons, uh, keep going with the stuff where it goes. You have crazy weapons. Bring back some of the favorites, but make them not just like attached to a boss, but I guess kind of attached to a mission. Um, so like it's an Easter egg in order to unlock some of the um, some like if say if you wanted to get like the Minecraft one. Yeah. Oh God, I love the I love mm -hmm. the, the Sunny Blockhead. I yeah, wish, dude. Actually, can we go get the Sunny Blockhead? The right now? Dude, let's Monroe. fucking go. Let's, let's go. go. Can we go get can we go get the sunny blockhead right now. <laughs> Dude, let's, let's go. go. I, I, mission, I love that gun so much. No, like yeah, that, yeah that's perfect. It's just like it's not a mission, but it's an Easter egg, and you can get it anytime. Yeah. No have problem. It, it's like for like let's have different level like if you can all right, call it. All right. Shit, I blew myself up. You're fine. Um, you, I guess you could call it a different thing. Like I would call them leg legacy legendaries, but with legacy legendaries you're bringing back. And then you have new legendaries. Um, the legacy ones, of course, you know, are going to be our favorites. Mm -hmm. Where we have. Um, actually, you just menu. do it. I'm, gonna, I'm talking. You just do it. Uh, <laughs> Fuck uh, it. So yeah, I definitely think you should have that. Um, I don't think if you are oh a God. certain like one thing I don't like if you are level 72, you should not be able to get weapons that are below that level. Agreed. And vice versa. Agreed. You should, yep. If you're killing a 72 boss, you should not be getting a 71 weapon, especially since the drop rates are so low. So, for my own pain tolerance, please, for the love of God, don't do that. Just listen to me for once. Um, oh, what else do I want? Oh, characters and things along those lines. Because uh, the loot, we really didn't have much to talk about. Weapons, it's pretty simple. I trust you guys to. Borderlands, cool it's all about that weapons. Believe it or not. I guess the last thing I can say about loot is don't make a new legendary like they did in um oh shit, what happened? I'm glitched. Ruh -roh. Nope. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I said that I died for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. Um anyways, don't do uh don't make a new legendary air quotes and just have it have the same ability as a previous legendary like they did in the pre sequel. That's not fun. Uh, also, as far as it comes for weapons, um, attachments shouldn't be a variation. I believe that you should be able to either have some sort of weapon stand or ways to pick up attachments as like a loot drop. Uh, and then you can attach those to certain weapons. I think that'd be a good way to do that. It adds a little bit more depth to um, the game so that you can kind of create your own custom weapons. Still have abilities attached to the stuff, and still have their, you know, because I know that's a big part of the depth in this game is the fact that it comes with different attachments. Uh, but make it so that a gun can come with different attachments, but you can use, I don't know, iridium or whatever valuable resource to add whatever custom attachments you want on it, or having a deconstructing system parts off of one and add it to another. I think that'd be pretty fun. Uh, let me grab so if I, I really sure like this scope on a gun, I can change it to a different one? Yeah. That'd be dope. Like, if you have a scope on a gun that you like everything else on it, but the scope is just ugly as fuck, you can take that <laughs> scope off. That's pretty dope. Give you the option to at least take stuff off, and then also expand, like, your backpack space to be able to hold a near infinite amount of, like, attachments. 
That way, you don't have really have to choose too much when it comes to that. Weapons, you know, still have a, a slot for that, but... Characters! Um... I've rated, and I think I have come to a pretty solid consensus here. Uh, I definitely 100% want custom characters. Dude, yeah. Um, the characters in, that we play as in Borderlands really don't... They have a personality, but for the most part, they're pretty blank slates, so if they're going to stay like that, and I think they should stay like that, have it where we can make a custom character. Guys, uh, I am glitched. Class. Also, what? You're, you're hopping. I know. I My movement and stuff's fine. I can't use my ability. It just says it's automatically going, and I can't use it. This is uh, this is rough. Well, um, that's unfortunate. All right, what the fuck? Why did we go from 60 to 20 view Guys, calm down for a minute. Are we getting raided? Is that what we're doing? Is we getting raided? Oh, dude. It's awesome that you get raided. Let's start talking about Borderlands. Maybe people just want to hear about the Destiny stuff. And then no, fuck no. Don't don't put Destinies, man. Keep it going. <laughs> people care about Anyways. Borderlands. Fuck Destiny. Anyway, so, um, what else was I? I was I had a point. Oh, yeah. All right, please. Um, All right, Rift Thresher, please. Please. All right, fuck talking. you. My train of thought just got completely derailed. What were we talking about? My bad. Uh, character customization. Yeah, yeah you're going under characters thing. and stuff. Someone has to be paying attention. So character customization. Um, I do think you should be able to customize it, like, 100%, all the aesthetic stuff. I don't think that would be very hard. They have a lot of stylized things. So being able to customize your character, you can keep them, like, same normal body type and, like, physical look. Um, or, like, I guess body size for the most part. But, yeah, so that way you don't have a million voice actors, but... So you can have a little bit more added customization there. I also think it would be cool to style multi-classing. Fucking go nuts. Uh, add all of, like, add more different uh, actual character classes. So you say you want to have a, like, you can either go full Berserker, or you can do a Berserker and a Commando, or a Berserker and an Assassin. Go nuts. Have your primary one be what you can have for, like, your ultimate, I guess. And then your secondary one will be, um, you know, kind of some extra stuff, like a, a character tree that you can add. Um, ouch, that hurt. Uh, have one be like a character tree, and then... That way you can have some unique abilities across the board. Oh and I just think I just that would fit well with the uh, funniness of uh, uh, Borderlands, of having, oh, you're a, you're a cross... Yeah. You're a crossbred hybrid, commando dude. And, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you're a commando berserker. Well, that's uh. So you're looking for claptrap from the pre sequel. Yeah, claptrap was all of them. Kind of. Well, yeah, but like plus. to a, a point where you can control it, where you can be like, I can just multi classes too. Like we limited it to so control some of the madness. Oh come on, where's my fucking sunny block? I'm pissed. Redo it. We can't. We'd have to all have to leave and they all come back. Oh shit. All right, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll go do it. that. Uh, that could be something else that could be added to Borderlands 3. What? Is that you just leave the area, like, say you leave oh, yeah, Caustic but... Caverns, go mm -hmm. to Three Arms Divide, come back to Caustic Caverns, and the bosses respawn. You don't have to see yep, them quick that would be... True. That'd be nice. Uh, Chet, what we're doing is we're going through our uh, Christmas list for Borderlands 2. We already did that. All right, Borderlands 3. We already did Destiny 2. Yeah, if you want to go, I like both of us are stream, so if you want to go back and mm -hmm. listen to all of our arguments and the things that we want, check the shit out of that, because trust me, we made some good, there were some, definitely some good points made. Made so, by all parties. Hey, yeah, yeah all we parties have, we got the whole board things. covered, so we're good there. Um, shit. Continue. Oh, uh, yeah, customizable characters is a must, in my opinion. Um, my same thing with the weapons. Uh, uh, multi-classing, add more classes, um, weapons, keep laser guns. Laser guns are fun as fuck. One of my <laughs> favorite of the pre-sequel was the laser guns. So bring laser guns back. Uh, as far as other weapon classes, I really don't think you need... Sniper rifles were pretty well. Like, you could add another one. I'm trying to think of another weapon class you really could add. But I think you're pretty good with what we got so far. Especially because we're adding the new thing with uh, having um, um, 
weapon attachments. Also, I think, I know I've been like, if you guys were on for the part of a Destiny, you're probably going to be like, this is a recycled idea, but I think this is something that should be added in the games to add more character to it and so add some personal value, is you should have some form of... Fuck yes. Alright. All right. We have all of these different corporations. No, not Destiny, um, Borderlands. Mm hmm multiple planets why not that'd be a fun thing so um, you so the way i think they're going to do borderlands 3 not to interject here is that go they're going to start us off on pandora i think we're going yeah, to move to a different there, planet aren't we right and yeah, from there they're going to gonna moonshot planet. us or somehow get us over to promethea because promethea is a, a huge huge um I don't want to say spoiler or leak, but a huge idea that's going around, Easter egg that's been going around, um, and it was hugely relevant in the pre-sequel, and it had some very big um, Easter eggs inside of Battleborn. So I think we're going to see the planet of Promethea come up. Oh, no, I remember. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, I remember <laughs> what my points were going to be. Ooh. Melee weapons. That's the weapon class I want. This Dude, is, melee would be dope as fuck. We do have like a basic melee, but add some cool ass melee weapons. Like, there like are plenty swords, of you... axes, bats, swords, <laughs> axes, maces, and then you can get a giant toothpick. Swords, giant toothpicks, dr <laughs> uh, turkey legs, Q-tips, power drills, inflatable rubber ducks. Yes. I like go ham. And that can give you a whole All set of, of the new hype. things to do. You can have a whole set of new exotics and stuff. I'm not, not, yeah. not exotics. Legendary. Legendary. Sorry, we just got, we're talking about Destiny. I gotta switch my no, you're mindset. Good. Um, How fucking dare you? It gives you a ton of. Can do. Like, I guess Blue's not gonna spawn. I wake up. No, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta kill all of them. Oh, not yet, but dude. Have Blue's uh, mission unlocked. Wait, you don't have. But yeah, add melee yeah, weapons, fuck. definitely. Uh, multiple planets. Uh, with a whole bunch of different varying areas, you can have a snowier area, but if you do like multiple planets... Uh, if there's a snowy area, you gotta have a Hoth reference, please, for the love of God. Um, what else? Is... That just, that'll diversify stuff. I think, and you don't necessarily have to have ship combat, but have a ship where you can keep your collectibles and your weapons, put your vault and have your hub, instead of it being like a, you, like a, you can, I guess you have two hubs, you can have hubs actually on each planet. But your own personal hub, I think. I don't know why I'm so like. I Where's the so um? What should I call it? The having uh, your ship be your own fucking Skyrim. Hub you can put Easter over egg. here. Dark Souls oh, yeah. Three is over here. Yeah, Dark Souls Three. Thank you. There, I think everyone has the right shield. We should be able to make try it. Try to revive me. Uh, you know what's funny? I, I can't. Remember when I said I was glitched? I wasn't kidding. All right, so is it James' turn next? I'll make it to the aisle. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm, yeah, James' oh, turn will be next. I just got to finish up a handful of ideas. But yeah, I'm really sold on the idea of having those apartment-style things or those personal areas where you can keep your stuff. Uh, it'll play, good place to put your vault, good place to put your bank, good place to be able to put trophies. I think having in-game trophies of, and of the bosses you've killed would be awesome to show that. You, know, <gasps> you can have, like, the heads and stuff, like, just chilling on your, like, yep. your belt. Yep, trophy That'd room. That'd be dope. A yeah. Trophy room. Have a trophy room for weapons. And weapons that I. Have, See, but, this know, motherfucker's got a sword. Good. And a shield. Yeah. Can't that's we what, have it? That's where I thought of it. Like, I want it. Will give us some? Give us some melee weapons. Wait, Solid is that hit. the shield of? No, it's not. That's the no, that's shield. not her shield. That's not Athena's. But yeah, giving us some consistent melee weapons, I think, would be pretty cool. Um, and then being able to do cool stuff off of that. Oh shit! I hit a bubble. Uh, Oh yeah, those will launch you. That's pretty fun. Um, having some puzzle bosses, maybe, but I kind of just, in this game, I kind of like having just to shoot the shit out of everything. Uh, make sure you have another good villain. Um, yeah, Handsome really Jack was fun and all, Jack. but like, you're starting to overuse him. Like, well done, Handsome Jack, I'll give you that. Handsome Jack is a fun he's, villain, but like, probably the best need another video one. game villain ever created. Well, yeah, because you... It's not hard to like him. Like, it's not at all. Like, you love him. You just, like, gotta remind yourself he is a bad guy. 
All right. Um, do I have anything else that I really want to say? I mean, big one of my big ones was the whole. Uh, um, once again, I, I don't. I am. I'm. I'm caught on the idea of having personal homes. I once again can't tell you why. I just think that it'd be cool to have. Them. Um, to be just to have a pl like a place of your own to show your friends before you go out. Or fuck, even your loading screens can be done if you're going from planet to planet in your personal home while it's loading. You can just have like a club penguin thing. Place. Yeah, or like, like a uh, PlayStation Home. Rip cup, rip yeah, PlayStation penguin. Home was where I got like the original idea for it. Is that you would apply something like that. Put mm -hmm. a shooting range in there. That wouldn't be hard. Like I know Brett had the idea of a shooting range, but mm -hmm. you already have that in this game. Put one of those in there. Uh, put places to put your guns where you can actually display them. Um, have places where you can mod your weapons. Have you know vending machines in there for your weapons and stuff. Um, and here's a put here here's a, here's one that you know may may or may not go off as well, but I think you can should have be able to have some AI companions as well to be able to take along with. Oh, absolutely. What, like death trap? You can have on your ship. <laughs> oh my God, death trap! Please give me death trap. Kind of, yeah, but um, someone you can keep in there, keep on your ship, and you bring on with you for missions. Someone like, kind of like another character, like you can make a side character, or if you were to make another character, you could have them level up with you. Like a sidekick. Yeah, as a sidekick. You essentially get to mm -hmm. have your own sidekick, where they Which have an their own character, like, like Diablo. create your own sidekick. Kind Dude, of, yeah. Three, I'd be Diablo 3 had that sidekick companion that you could give weapons and level them up. Exactly. You definitely have something like that. You want to try uh, or you can drone? take and. No. Um. Uh, would it be easier to go to I mean, the other I place? Got, I got the equipment for it. I mean, yeah, we can go to the other place. The word that, that and I'm also. It doesn't help that I'm glitched and I can't use my ability. Yeah, let's try getting bread. So if you first. guys, yeah, if you guys go down, I have to manually pick you guys up. Um, I think that yeah, I think they basically summed it up. Or even have other NPCs in the game once you've done their missions. You can do missions to get specific NPCs. So you can have like in this game for say you can have like Hammerlock or Brick be your um, companion. Yeah. <laughs> so if you complete all of Hammerlock's missions, your big reward at the end is Hammerlock will then be your companion. Dope. You can customize his equipment. You can take his equipment. Like what in game each is companion like that? should have their own like legendary gun or equipment on them that you can then use their oh, gun. I just realized what game I'm like. That sounds like a, a lot like a recent game that came out, dude. Fallout Four, you could do that. Oh, you I was could just have taking that 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 companion idea from Skyrim. Like once well, you yeah, got no. Him. Well, Skyrim, Fallout, Bethesda. Like yeah, but yeah. Fallout Four, you could have that. You could be like, oh, I want. Uh, Dog meat to be my companion, and then if you didn't want him, you can exchange for someone else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So having a companion system like that, like I said, and each companion having their own set of legendary gear on them that you can use or let them use. Um, that way, there, there's incentive to do people's side missions apart from just getting some potentially better loot. Like you definitely get their like hammerlock's revolver, hammerlock sniper rifle, which I have both, by the way. Dude, this sniper rifle is like fucking dope. But having him be able to go along with you as well, I think would be awesome. But having characters like that, I think that'd be pretty great. Um, that was my big idea for it was to have the uh, the character companions, being able to customize them, being able to create your own companion, uh, to be able to level them up, and then being able to play as that as an actual character. Uh, I think that would add a lot of value. To uh, Borderlands 3. That would be pretty sweet. But that ends my what I thought was going to be a short wish list, but I elaborated on a lot. So let's move on to James. <laughs> so <laughs> companions, melee, bit. and loot system is what I got out of it. Right. Why am I still glit? I'm kind of right. pissed. It's All rough. Right. I'm not a huge fan of them glitch. Right. So my Borderlands 3 wish list. It shouldn't come as a surprise, but I want to see more of. More of Claptrap. What's Borderlands? What's a Borderlands game without Claptrap? Uh, a a one. quiet one. Shit. <laughs> Played my hand again already. <laughs> Never mind. I really don't care if Claptrap's in it or not. So yes, I think Claptrap should be in the Borderlands games, no matter if it's a big role or a small role. Preferably Clap small. Claptrap is one of the biggest. It's one of the biggest reasons why Borderlands is here, right? 
Not to not to think that Clapshot makes the game, but he's definitely important. He, to he it. is a main character of the game. Um, I say we need more yes. bosses. Yeah. More bosses. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can get behind sure that. Sure, we got many bosses. Sure, we've got raid bosses, but I'd like to just see more bo bosses in general. You know, I'll drop unique weapons, legendary weapons, pro license. You know, stuff like that, of that nature. Um, I'd like to see Torg and Tina, Tiny Tina, yeah. as playable, as playable characters. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. I'd love to see them both played. And the thing about Tiny Tina yeah. is that in this Borderlands 3 tech test, they keep that character hidden. She's obviously female. So oh, shit. what if, put on, put on your tinfoil hats, what if that character is a grown-up Tina? Like they did with Clementine in uh, The Walking Dead? Yes. I'm alright with it. Um, um, that's a super badass. Oh, is that God. Burn? That's super bad. That's right. Can I get oh, out? Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, yeah, here's the letter. Okay, so... Good. Oh, we have I'd two like super badasses. I'd, like, I'd like to hear jokes about the prequel in some way. Shape or form. What about how shit it is? Yeah. How Just boring it is? Joke about it. Oh god, it's bad. This is no okay, bueno. Um, well, I'm not gonna tell him how to make jokes, because I'm not a comedian, so... I'll just have oh fuck no, put the comedian something. from DC Comics in the game. There you go. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Ah, oh, super badass! Get the fuck out of here! I'd like to see, um... Borderlands 2 type legendary drops, so the same loot, loot system. Uh, can apply. What call it? Um, by the way, there's an ultimate oh, badass. Oh, ultimate badass. Here. Where? Already? Where? I see none. That was fast. Where is he? I saw ultimate badass pod. Did someone kill it? Um... No, I don't really... You can't kill an ultimate badass pod that quick. No, we have an ultimate badass Barkit alive. Ow, 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 No! Yeah, we need to just injure him to the point of... See, or this is what I'm my ability somebody. would be good. No, I'm not reviving anybody. Why well, wasn't reviving you? You revived me. Down square. You revived me. I'd like to see um, more memorable oh. legendary guns like Northfleet, um, Deepa. Oh, the Maggie, I love the Maggie. Maggie. Dude, the Maggie, yes. Conference call. B, Sham. Dude, I want to see legendary oh, fuck me. come to the game. No? <laughs> Wasn't an invitation. Okay. Oh. Well, I don't like this exclusively using the Herald. Well, no, I want to see memorable guns like that in the game. I don't want no, to just team bread, bread at, or... Yeah. I what do, up? but I, I don't want to kill everything. I am... Uh, well, then I uh, won't. Oh, shit. Man, this, um... Alright, bye, James. You're dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried fine. picking up. I got hit twice. I'd also like to see cinematics for the game, you know, I think that's, uh, Borderlands 2 and Borderlands uh, 1, the pre-sequel, super bad. Uh, out on some yeah, hit, of, hit us up with know, some cutscenes. And I think cutscenes was one of the big ones. Yeah, hit us up with some cutscenes, I have no problem with that. I don't, and, you know, as mentioned before, I don't want to see any division between PS4 Pro, Xbox, Oh, uh, found the ultimate badass market, or the ultimate badass market found me. Um, I'd like to see some fun Easter egg guns. They'll like the ones dropped by the creepers. I'd like to see st stuff like that come out. Mm hmm. And um, Borderlands 2 is all about them Easter eggs. Mm hmm. I'd like to see the Konami code come back for more wubs. Then, um. See, I, I want to see Borderlands 2 come with 60 frames per second with very little frame drop. A huge problem with Borderlands 2, and I think any Borderlands game, is that their frames drop a lot. The ultimate boss is yeah, actually one. just the frames. Right. Look at that. That's just a super badass, we're good. Yeah, I cleared out some of the, the weaker ones that weren't going to transform into Vent from Everest, just so, Bunch we're of not bitches. so we're not getting slammed 
Continue, James. But the buzzards are here, which means that he probably should have spawned by now. Okay, continuing. Um, I'd like to see planet to planet vaults. So, going on with more planets, I'd like to see a different vault fight or a different vault with planetary exclusive, you know, loot on those in those vaults. Let's we'll say you can come back to Pandora and you know, get Borderlands 2 guns, but once you go to Promethea, you get all new guns that are only found on Promethea. Um, I like the overpowered system from Borderlands 2. I think they should definitely keep that in the game, as it does add cha the challenge of, hey, I can get to this maximum rank with this overpowered gear. You know, I think that was something cool that they added in the game that they should keep. Um, I said they need to add fourth wall breaks. I mean, they don't need to. I, I'm, I'm saying this as, you know, it'd be kind of funny to see, hey, your character or an NPC look, looks directly at your screen and says, I wonder if the player knows that blank blank can be dropped by blank blank. You mean like a Ferris Bueller type thing? In a way, yes. And then, um, ton of game easter eggs, like, in this game, Dark Souls, Minecraft, Skyrim, all sorts of easter eggs could be found throughout the game. They could give you something, or they could drop nothing, just kind of a cool inclusion of, into the game. Um, for any DLC expansions, there needs to be another DLC D &D campaign. Dude, yes! I love time, Dude. um... That's good that he... Oh, we have come. two ultimate badasses now, crap. That's fine. The first one's not gonna spawn, Berm. Oh my god, he is... Damn it. Open! Um, okay, so... There's number 17 on the list. The vault monster should be... Harder than the warrior, but not as hard as OP8. Ultimate badass, invincible pyro Pete. Should be oh at god. least level 52 Terramorphous difficulty. You know, just to give it a bit more difficulty and depth to the fight. So you're not there, you know, minimally blanking him. Like, to me, honestly, the first time you face the warrior, it's like, ooh, cool. This boss is okay to fight. But after you get it, you know, it becomes mind-numbing and easy. I heard the, the sound effect for, oh, that's another super badass. Ultimate badass. Where the fuck is it? Is Verm here? I think we I would know, know if he was. Badass pot up. I killed it. I killed this ultimate badass because he's just irritating me now. Got him. Continue, James. At least I thought we did. No, we didn't. I don't have the flak around me. All right, continuing. Um, <laughs> me flak here. Um, opening scene in Borderlands 3 should have clap shop teabagging Jack's corpse. Mm. Mm. I say this would be a fun, a fun way to uh, make Borderlands 2. A huge Borderlands 2 reference, and thus kind of giving off the sense of relief, like, okay, Flapchap was able to do something. Other than opening doors. Oh, I, th I think it was kind of funny that he couldn't do anything. He was just kind of uselessly there, trying to feel included. That's his whole character. Yeah, but I'd like to see something to do with him, with in Jack's corpse. Necrophilia. Like, say, I see how it is, alright. I, I mean, that'd be weird. I think you just want to see corpse de desecration, honestly. That's the what's, what's, what's vibe I'm getting here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, n number 19 on my list, there should be some kind of Star Wars usable in Borderlands 3, so say your character gets like a lightsaber or a blaster Melee pistol. weapon lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, that resembles something yeah. from Star Wars. I think that'd be 
amazing to see. That was and... almost too quick. Ooh. Right. Right, now finally, to sum off my list, I think walls need to be a th need to be a thing and not a concept. Because what? if you guys, I know you guys played Borderlands too a lot, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know that walls no. aren't. You know <laughs> that walls. No, are just a don't look at my platinum. Don't thing. look at it. Do you guys definitely know that walls are a concept and not a thing? Invisible walls? What? Walls in general. Yeah, that walls are a thing. Walls are more of a concept, a thing in this game. Because you could still uh, go through. Because you could still go through walls. Yeah, there's a bunch of glitches. And, and some, right. And I think they should tidy those up, and actually create those as solid barriers. I All think right. they should use them as Easter eggs that there are some walls you can just walk through. <laughs> oh, just make that a Harry Potter reference! That. You can just walk right through and you end up in a train station. We we come on, we, we come across nine and three quarters out. <laughs> you know how dope that would be? Yes. <laughs> you go to like just some. Do that. Oh my God! No, hold on. You can make a whole planet that's like Tiny Tina's D and D world. You walk through a brick wall and then it's all of a sudden Harry Potter world. That would be awesome. I think I'm I, looking I at you, Gearbox. Just, I mean, make it happen. I wouldn't get out of Harry Potter world if that happened. Uh -uh. Dude, that'd be Alrighty, dope so as shit. That, that, that tidies up my list. So, um, the longest one out of here before we get to the open forum is yours. Oh, yeah, Brent, yours mm -hmm. is supposed to be the longest, but I don't know. Take I can't give you a run for your money. I know. You guys are, guys went really long. I like Borderlands a lot. I love the universe. I've played Borderlands 2, completed it. Tried my fucking hardest to play the pre sequel. That one's just a really tough game. Just it's not hard, it's just I, I really, it. really, it's just, really hard. Oh, just to got stupid. play it. Um really like Tales for the Borderlands and um everything that has to go for. Really like it because I'm a huge Telltale nerd. I love all their games. Um but what, why mine's probably gonna be really long is because in my pre visualization class that I'm taking right now. We we get to do we're already starting our final project right, and we can do whatever we want. So what I plan on doing is I plan on making a story for Borderlands and the Telltale game combined. So kind of like Tales from the Borderlands, but like better. And it'll be like a second game from Tales from the Borderlands that they can connect. And the characters, which is why I freaked out when James said them, will be Torg will be one of them. Tiny Tina will be a main one. Same with um, Krieg and uh, Gage, or Cage, however yes. you pronounce her name. Love Gage. Yeah, she'll also be in there. And I have, like, all the copyrights and stuff is on me because I'm coming up with the game. But Gage and Tiny Tina, they're cousins in the game, right? And so okay. they're going to go to a different planet that's not Pandora. They're going to go, and of course they're going to take a train because everything is traveled by trains. Um and spaceships uh, and spaceships. that a spaceship train <laughs> one of those Thank you. Um, and Torg is going to be the one that's going to be obviously flying it because he wants to go and it's just going to like scream Torg all over like sponsored the shit out of the train and then Krieg is uh, going to be with them and so usually in the Tales from the Borderlands you can play as two characters it was uh, Reese and um the other girl that I can't remember her name because I don't remember. Um, Lilith, you played as uh, what? I have a seventy-two version of Love Thumper. What? Two version of Love Thumper. Which character is he talking about? Uh, the characters from Tales from the Borderlands. It was Reese and oh. the other girl that I can't remember. Um, this is the, it's the bull moose. Anyway. One of those, but I think the, the, main, the main two will be like Tina and um, Gage, okay. and um, you can play as them, and then you'll have like companions, so they'll get like split up in the game and stuff, and so obviously Tiny Tina and Torg are going to be together, and then uh, Gage and Krieg will be together, and they'll mm. have their own little like missions, and they'll have to try to meet up and stuff, and then eventually it'll like wrap up uh, the tides with Tales from the Borderlands. So they can make a third game if they really wanted to. That is what I'm really hyped for because that's actually what I'm going to be doing for a final project. So I'll 
reveal like some of the storyline and the character um, designs that I will be doing for that. Uh, pretty pretty soon. But out of Borderlands Three, what I want, I know they released a um, a text showing of all like the new detailed cartoon graphics that they're doing and stuff. They haven't really released a trailer yet. But they've been hinting at Borderlands 3 for a really, really, really long time. Like, there's a bunch of Easter eggs in Battleborn saying that they're going to make it. I know the um, developers are saying they're going to make it, but just not yet. A lot of people are hyped for it. And it should be coming out within the next couple years, actually. So, I'm hyped. Uh, what I want is, obviously, more vaults. I feel like if we can get more vaults in the game, instead of having just one vault be the entire game, if the, the game is broken up into like three acts, like the first vault, second vault will be on a different planet, and the third vault will be like the hardest one, it would be on like uh, an insane, like tougher planet, because it would be everything would be, um, the level, everything would be higher. So I think that would be pretty sweet. Uh, I like what they did with the, in Borderlands 2, what they did with the, um, what should I call it, the like legendaries and the, like, the looting system. Whether it be orange, blue, green, the different levels and uh, of guns that they have, I like that a lot. Uh, I know they're gonna keep that. Um, don't know how I feel about them claptrap opening scene or claptrap being in Borderlands Three. But he can be there, I guess. But obviously, I want like at one part just be an absolute <laughs> stairs marathon, and he gets left behind. Um, so trying to think. your game would include Claptrap. It would include it, but it, was, would it would include him, but then uh, would just like leave him one. behind because he's pretty useless. That's you know fine. Um, I like Mike's idea a lot with the melee thing. I think that'd be really sweet. Uh, everything else we kind of talked about, so I it just I just be bringing it back up. But I'm a huge fan of the stuff that I said, the stuff that you guys said. If you want to go into the open forum, we can. All right, let's let's uh, open forum it. All right. Well, I mean, personally, I've got to start getting out of here because I have a thing to do at six o'clock. But it has been a blast uh, being able to talk about with this all with you guys. Um, but if you have any more questions, like I gotta just be going. So. Yep. So I Is mean, if Nick wants to it? take place, Nick is sitting here. Nick, you want to take my spot for a bit? Oh God. Guys. We're talking about Borderlands 3. Just get your ass over here. Mike, is there any final thoughts before you go? On your part? Um... Ladies and gentlemen, please be smart when you're buying video games. Um, my <laughs> only personal thing that I can tell you is never pre-order a video game before you have seen the gameplay trailer for it or seen any gameplay for it at all. That way you know exactly what you want. You don't see, you know, the gameplay for it. You shouldn't buy it. Just make sure you always see gameplay before you buy a game. It's just smart for any video game. Never, ever pre-order before the gameplay has been released. Because that way, it just inflates their pre-order numbers, which makes them, you know, get lazy. Because they see, oh, yeah, we're guaranteed to get this many copies. <clears throat> so Destiny. they don't have to work as hard. Make sure that they have to work for it. Without any further ado, I think I'm pass it off to Nick if he wants to take this over. You can plug your own headset in if you want, if you want to use Michael Grime if you want. Maybe. Well, I will leave it on then. Well, they're transitioning there. Any final thoughts from you? Me? Yeah. Uh, Destiny, I want a story. I'm going to sum that up real quick. Destiny I, uh, Destiny 2 needs a story. Borderlands 3, I have a feeling the story is going to be great. I am super hyped for Borderlands 3. Destiny 2, not so much hyped. I'm going to wait like a year before I buy it to make sure I get the full game. <laughs> um... I don't know, that's, I mean, I like the words and the kindness of advice that Mike gave. Definitely, pre-ordering is a good and bad thing, so be careful with that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hyped. Oh, also, because I'm a huge tell, uh, Telltale fan nerd, they're coming out with, I don't know if you've seen this, they're coming out with a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale game, and it's coming out in like a oh, month. That's interesting. I am definitely going to be playing it the day it comes out. I'll stream the shit out of it. But, like, I feel go. like that's going to be really fun as well, so. Ooh. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and close the the forum here. Um, so, thank you guys so much for uh, watching. 
uh, this video or our streams. They'll be linked down below in the comment section. Um, this has been uh, our gamers forum on what we want for Destiny 2 and Borderlands 3. Um, we'll probably come back with more um, as we find out more about each of these games. When we Otherwise, get more ammunition and stuff to talk about, like when they released gameplay trailers and E3 right. is probably gonna be huge. Yeah, E3 is gonna be huge. We'll do probably a gamers forum on uh, E3 when it comes to uh, June or July. Right. But otherwise, guys, uh, hope you guys have a good one. Stay safe out there. It's been been a good talk, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.